Howdy, partners. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome to the War Games Illustrated video uh, in which we're going to unbox Dead Man's Hand. Now, as you probably gathered from that introduction, uh, Dead Man's Hand is a Wild West shootout kind of game, so you can expect a lot of sort of, sort of cheesy, predictable <laughs> comments like that throughout the whole video. Uh, I'm joined here by Mark Wheatley. Now, Mark is one half of uh, Great Escape Games. I am. Uh, Great Escape Games are the people who produce Dead Man's Hand. Now, this is this product particularly that we're looking at today is Dead Man's Hand Redux. What does Redux mean? Uh, it's a film term. It means like born again, new. All oh, right. Because indeed, Dead Man's Hand is born again because uh, it came out, when was it? Originally? Ooh, a long time ago. Uh, 2013, I think. Yeah, 2013. I think that's when we first covered it in the magazine. And I yeah. did put something in the article about it being just after release. So yes, this was the original one. You can get rid of that. That's no good anymore. Perfect. Uh, because in this box, we've got a new Dead Man's Hand rule book along with lots of other kit as well. So that yep. was the idea, wasn't it? You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're putting together a whole sort of starter set. Yep. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. It's a big chunky box, as you can see. Right, inside the first thing we come across are plastic frames. So these are these are plastic frames of existing Dead Man's Hand figures, aren't they? Two, yep. two different sets, yep. which are covered on the side here, there. Uh, gunfighters and Gunfighters 2. So what's 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 Gunfighters first? You get two of those frames, yeah? Yep, so that was the first box set that we did. Um, each frame has got five multi-part plastic cowboys. Mm. Um, they are very heavily inspired by the old Mordheim frames. I don't know if you remember those, Danny. All right. Where you got separate legs and bodies. Because you don't need very many figures for Dead Man's Hand, we wanted them to be as adjustable and poseable and changeable as possible um, because they're not really rank and file. Mm -hmm. um, so the torsos and the legs are separate, and then you get loads of different heads, loads of different bodies and things like that. And that was the first set we released, um, I think, three years ago now? I can't remember. Okay, yeah. A lot, quite a while ago now. I like, I like the fact you always get little uh, little bonus items on your yep. frames, don't you? Like the little cactus. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the skull of the cat, the cattle skull and that kind of thing. Um, right, so they're the cowboys. Yep. So what's on Gunfighters 2? So they're the cowgirls. Okay. Uh, exactly the same premise, separate torsos and legs, loads and loads of different parts, loads of different heads. Um, so exactly the same idea as the first box. Uh, we just did girls for the second box. And again, like you said, with the first box, there are lots of little extras. There's a chicken on that one. Yeah, so there'll be a bit a of chicken. chicken in your <laughs> cowboy games. Right, okay. So, so all in all, so how many figures is that in total? That so that's 15. Um, 15 you need about seven for a gang in Dead Man's Hand. Mm. Um, so we thought put 15 in, it means you can put together two gangs. Two gangs, right, okay, cool. So uh, that's the first three plastic frames. Uh, and then we've got an um, instruction leaflet here that gives us a clue as to what's coming next because we've got buildings next, haven't we? We have. Uh, we're going to start, actually, not with the buildings themselves, but with the, what, what do you call these? Board boardwalks. Walks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is a frame that's got boardwalks on and a few barrels and a few hitching posts and... Um, water troughs. Yeah, water troughs, that kind of thing. Buckets. So this is, this is your sort of... Is this you? Well, not so much your general scatter, is it? Because that's no. that frame. So, yep. yeah, this other frame here has got more barrels on, more crates, more boxes, more sort of churns, wheels and things like that. So those two combine to make sort of street yep. scattery stuff. Yeah, yeah. What you, what you tend to find when you look at Old West buildings is they had lots of these, um, these boardwalks in front because mm. they were quite dry rural places um, and they suffered from lots of heavy rain. And so what would happen is the street would turn into a quagmire. So we would have the wooden boardwalks in front of the buildings. Right, keep your yeah. feet a bit dry. Um, so each building um, has a boardwalk in front of it. And it just lets you kind of identify the area where your town is. Right, okay. 
And do they, do, does, the, uh, does a round base fit very neatly onto one of those boards? It certainly does. Oh, what a, <laughs> what a plan, yeah. Uh, of course, yes, you, you do get bases for the figures yep. as well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Okay, so that's your kind of sort of general scatter that will really sort of lift the look of yep. your uh, Wild West town. Uh, these are the buildings that will populate your Wild West town. So these are... These are all new, aren't they? These they are, yes. Frames yeah, yeah. of the buildings, yep. um, and um, had a bit of a sort out of these. And, and how, how many buildings have we got here in total? There's three in total. Three. Okay. So that's so, one that you've got in your hand there. Yeah. Another um, one underneath. Yep. And then the third right. one at the bottom. And they're all the same, are they? All those three buildings? Uh, they are the same. Yeah, but the way that we've had them designed. Um, you can change them a lot around a lot. So anybody that's come along to see us at various shows or has looked at our website will see that we've put together um, quite a few of them in slightly different ways. So things like the veranda on the front, you can put that on, you can take that off. The walls, uh, if we dig to a wall sprue, which is this one here, um, the side walls are interchangeable. So on one building, you could put that on the left hand side of the building, on another building you could put it on the right. Because you get three kits in here, if you wanted to, you could put one building with two sets of windows on and one building all blocked off. Mm -hmm. um, the way they click together, they fit into these pieces. So this piece forms, that side is the floor, right. but then it's also the ceiling for the okay, piece above. Right, yeah. And the way these grooves work, all the buildings lock into them. Uh, okay. So it means that they, um, they're all very, very interchangeable. Yeah, really, really nice and sturdy bits of plastic as well. They are, yeah. When, feel to them. when we were having them designed, we were first of all, we wanted them to match our um, MDF buildings that mm. we produce. Um, and then the other thing we wanted was we wanted them to be quite sturdy. One of the things with plastics can be, if they're too thin, they warp. Um, mm. And when you're gluing them together, but these, they're really substantial. Yeah. Um, a chap called Rob McFarlane sculpted us them for us. He did a great oh, job. Oh, yes, yes. He's, uh, he's well known for being pretty good, isn't he, Rob? He is, yes. Oh, yeah. oh look. Look what we've got here. Uh, I've just <laughs> remembered. Behind us, uh, we've got uh, one of the buildings that we painted up ourselves, actually, or, or Matt Parks did for us. So there's, there's some of the boardwalks that do look really cool when you add a bit of paint to them that can sit around the building itself. This is the veranda section, yeah, which yeah. Uh, is, is separate from the rest of the building. And this is the uh, this is the building itself. So as you can see, when it's painted up, we did it in a, a style of a sort of uh, 50s or 60s uh, uh, Hollywood film, made it look nice and clean and like yeah, it, was, yeah. it, was it, it looks like a new set. build, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like yeah. they just just put it together yeah, in the exactly, last six yeah. months. The the wood's not too weathered. Yeah, whereas a lot of people will want to weather it and yep. they look equally good when they're done like that. But that's that's the way we did it, with nice shiny gloss doors as well and everything. A thing to notice, so things like these crows, oh, yeah. these are all additional extras that are on the sprue. Yeah. So you get one, two, three crows, you get a dog, you get more barrels, things like yeah. that. Again, it's the same premise as the gunfighters. We like to squeeze little bits and pieces on the frames. Yeah. Just yeah, to add a bit of colour. Certainly not many gaps there with nothing going on, is uh, it? No, no. <laughs> Um, right, so so that's that's all the plastics, all the figures, and all the buildings, and we'll talk a little bit more about f figures in, in more general in a minute. But um, uh, obviously, one of the key features of the the new box set is the rule book. So we've got the Dead Man's Hand Redux rule book, and that properly has been reduxed, hasn't it? It has. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. looks it looks it looks really clean. It looks really new and really <laughs> modern inside. Photos looking great. Um, the layout looks really clean, and, and it's a nice, nice, big enough font to um, to to you know s see what's going on, be able to get to the rules easy enough. Uh, nice use of colour and all that kind of thing. But have have the rules actually changed much at all, other than the, the not look really? Of no, there's been there's been a tweak. What we we've been telling people when we've been talking about them because we've got a lot of. Um, a big customer base already who play Dead Man's Hand. We've got lots of people who play it and enjoy it. And what we're saying is this is kind of like a polishing. So it's just a little bit of a tweak. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been playing it for uh, for 10 years and over 10 years of playing it, you just notice some things don't quite work as you intended. Right. Um, so there's some slight changes to, to some of the cards. Some of the common cards have changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. We've changed the way that hand-to-hand -hand combat works. So it's now a new action called fighting. Um, the campaign system's in there now. When we first released Dead Man's Hand, 
it was just the four gangs and all the rules. And then we released The Legend of Dead Man's Hand later, mm -hmm. um, which brought you four more gangs and then the campaign rules. Well, we've, we've uh, condensed the campaign rules, made them a, a lot more simple, um, and then we've put them into the rule book now. Is this, is this the bit I'm looking at here? The They're all thing? scenarios. Oh, okay. So this, right. what, we, what I did with the scenarios is I laid them out so they look like newspapers. Mm. So you've got the Dead Man's Hand News, which is your first page, and that tells you your first part of your scenario, and then it goes on to the next two parts. Yeah. So okay. there, they'll, there, are, there are new scenarios in though, there, but the format of the, the scenarios, people will be very familiar with. It's the same format we've always done. I right. just laid them out in a different way to make them look a bit, a bit more interesting. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, and, and again, a really well-made rule book. Um, and a um, big feature of the game are the cards. So yep. in the box set, you also get a new card deck, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, is... Are they the little cards? Like they are the little yeah. cards, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. They, so they, they, they're not taking up too much space on the table, yeah, yeah. are they? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice design on the back. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> that's a change, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, right, OK, so you've got, a, you've got your full deck of cards there. Because one of the things that's, that struck me when I first played Dead Man's Hand back in... 2013 uh, and featured it in in War Games Illustrated magazine actually there from yeah when was that May 2013 was it it really is a game it, it, it's it's not pretending to be a simulation no. of, of of Wild West combat anything like that it's a game it uses cards that you put on the table it also uses tokens as well that feature quite heavily yep uh, and actually I remember back from when when you bought the game every tour that you, the first one was sort of based on a poker table it was it? yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. there was no getting away from the fact you were playing yep. a game which yep. I really like because that's, yeah. that's the kind of game I like to play one that doesn't pretend it's anything else uh, and, and as I say a lot quite a lot of tokens on the table as well which again you get in the box set. Yep. so these are um, cardboard pop-out tokens yep. uh, these Presumably, this is everything you need. For it is, yeah, yeah. They're double-sided, but they've got different things on each side, so it means you can double up on things like uh, movement or under fire markers. Okay. Everything, everything you need is all there. Right, cool. Nice, nice and chunky as well. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're not going to yeah. uh, warp or anything, are they? Nope. Um, right. So, oh, you even get some dice. I'll oh, get off. some dice as well. They're quite <laughs> useful, aren't they? Yeah. Is there yeah. anything else in there? No, no, no. no that's that's it. it. It's all done. That's everything. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's a great, great set. That obviously you're hoping it's going to appeal to new players who've never yep. played Dead Man's Hand before. But I guess for anyone who who has played it, a they get a new set of rules that has has been tweaked a bit, but also they can get all this stuff. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. even if you've played Dead Man's Hand for years, you can buy the box set and really just just use it for the buildings. Yeah, this, yeah, you, you can. Yep. And the new figures as yeah. well. Um, so speaking about figures, we've got we've got the plastics that you get in the set, but obviously over the years you've been expanding the the met, range of metals that you do as yeah. well, haven't you? Yeah, 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 massively so. So this this book here introduces lawmen, outlaws, cowboys, and desperados. They were the first four gangs that we wrote rules for in the original Dead Man's Hand, and they are in this one. And then we've got um, a book coming out in June this year, which is called The Good which introduces 13 more gangs. Mm -hmm. And then in August, we've got the bad and the ugly, which is another 13 gangs. So combined with this, that means we'll, then we'll have 30 gangs and we have metal figures for all of those. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a bunch of new gangs coming out for those. So each book will introduce some new gangs. Um, okay. So we've got people like Texas Rangers, they're coming in the good. We've got the family who are kind of a bit of a religious cult type thing. You've got the spirit walkers, they're in the bad and the ugly book, so they're um, uh, Native Americans who then can transform into werewolves. They're, they're continuing the idea of the curse of Dead Man's Hand, where yeah. everything went a little bit weird. Um, you've then also got Buffalo Soldiers, mm. um, and then we've got the Regulators. can't imagine who they're based on. Mm -hmm. um, and then Pioneers. Okay. So they're all the new gangs. And they're all coming in metal. And then later this year, we've actually got... Um, and two new buildings coming to work with these ones. One of the good things about these buildings is because, like I was saying, they're so interchangeable, we can drop in new parts. Mm -hmm. um, so some new fronts are coming, new headers are coming. So it means that, again, you'll be able to chop and change and, and twist around your buildings and make more and more and more. And then we've just sent off for tooling Mounted Gunfighters 1. So it's these 
same characters, mm. but you'll be able to mount them. So you'll be able to make exactly the same figures that you've already made on foot, but on horses. One of the other changes for Dead Man's and Redux is we brought in the rules for mounted figures. The rules for mounted figures appeared in the Legend of Dead Man's Hand, but they were never really a big part. They were always an, an optional extra for campaigns. Whereas what we've done now is we've written them in specifically with scenarios in mind. So you'll have a scenario, for example, where one, one side has got to get to their horses and get out of town, or okay. maybe some guys are trapped and then other guys will come in on horses, uh, right. that kind of thing. So they're, they're very scenario specific. What we don't really want, and of course gamers can do whatever they like once they've got it, but what we don't want is everybody charging around town on horseback. Mm. Um, but all the rules are in there. So yeah, so like I said, um, gunfighters one mounted uh, being tooled and then gunfighters two will come shortly after that wow okay so you got got big plans going forward uh, yep yeah yeah okay yep. Uh, um are you i know you've been quite um present at shows haven't you demoing the game and stuff will you be at salute coming up uh, we are yes yeah yeah it's the big releases salute so mm. um we we released this as a kickstarter initially just to help us and get going. That was really, really successful. We've actually just started shipping um, the Kickstarters out now, so we're nearly a month early on shipping, so we're really pleased with that. An and early Kickstarter? I know. Yeah. Who, who could imagine <laughs> such a thing could occur, but yeah. it can. Um, and so then the big release is Salute. So at Salute this year, we will have, um, as well as Demands and Redux the box, there's the the rules and the cards and the tokens you can get as a separate item. Mm. The single story building is a separate item. The boardwalks you'll be able to buy on their own, the street scatter you can buy on your own, and the two-story building, um, which we haven't got here at the moment, but I'm sure through the magic of technology we can make a picture appear. Make like it that. appear. Joke. There you go. Um, um, so that will be released as well. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. So, and we have a demo game as well. We are, yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Marvelous. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks very much for that. I mean, it's a really, it's it's quite a bold step forward for it is, for, yeah, a, yeah. for a small company to be releasing yep. such a big a big box set. So, um, yeah, it's a very brave. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I think it'll go down really well because it's. I think you said the retail price is what in pounds. Uh, it's ninety pounds. But the there's got to be a lot more ninety. Oh uh, yeah, worth of it's stuff about one hundred and thirty pounds worth of stuff in there. Right. So the single story buildings will be twenty five pounds. So three of them's seventy five pounds straight away. Yeah. So e even so, if you want to carry on playing the original Dead Man's Hand, there's enough in the box oh, to yeah, make yeah. it worthwhile just buying for the buildings and the yep. figures. Right. Okay. Thanks very much, Mark. No problems. Thank you for your time. This video has been brought to you by WI Prime War Games Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.